Shalom, shalom, family. This is Brother Ben. Just want to make a little video, little night light ball in the wee hours of the night. It's about 1 a.m. in the morning. I just came back from doing a little night cruise. Went right around the city, you know, just to clear my head. You know, sometimes you got to get out and go on a late night stroll or a late night ride. But yeah, just want to chop it up with y'all, man, you know. Pray all is well with y'all. I'm grateful that the Most High allowed me traveling mercies as I went on my night work strong cruise. <laughs> you know, all praises for that, but yeah. Man, just don't get caught up with them PPP laws, family, you know. I was just finished watching the rebroadcast, uh, Walk on the Dark Side, you know, on the um, Hebrew One um, show. Man, I'm bruised, man. They got caught up into that, uh, you know, Malachi and Yaki. <laughs> All I got to say is, man, when they catch up with them, Uncle Sam going to be coming knocking at their door, wanting to know where their money went. And there's going to be a lot of people going to jail behind them PPP loans, you know. Don't get caught up in that, family. It's a scam, you know. Use it for legit reasons, but a lot of people using it for non-legit reasons. They just want to get money, you know, free money. It's going to come back fire on them. You know, it's going to backfire on them. But yeah, shout out to the CUC, man. You know, appreciate y'all. You know, it's got a little nice breeze out here tonight, I must say. It's not too bad, you know. It's not too bad. A little nice little breeze, night breeze. You know. You know, that's one thing about when you're traveling at night, when you're riding around the city at night. You don't have too many traffic, you know. You don't have too many traffic. Be a peaceful night ride. Mm hmm Yeah, I'm just rambling on. This is like a little a late night ramble. You know, I did a live stream earlier. Appreciate it for all those who watched and tuned in. You know, I did like a two-hour live stream. Shout out to Brother Every Yell. You know, he came on the panel with me. Chopped it up for um, about a few a plethora of things, you know. But, yeah. I'm just standing, just standing on the back of my patio in my apartment complex, you know. It's peaceful tonight out here, I must say. It's peaceful. All praise. You know, it's peaceful. You know, you got to appreciate the smaller things in life, you know. If you have moments like this, you know, you can sit at your, on your back of your porch, patio of your house or apartment, doesn't matter. Count it all joy, fam. Count it all joy. You know, there's not too many people able to do this. You know, due to certain um, certain circumstances in their lives. But uh, yeah. Just want to encourage y'all, Zion. I want to encourage y'all, Israel, my fellow brothers and sisters in this walk. I know sometimes you get weary. I know sometimes you get weary, my brother. I know sometimes you get weary, my sister. You know, you see your peers, whether that's members of your family, it seems like they moving forward in life. Sometimes it could discourage you, you know, like you may see some of your loved ones, um, you know, getting married or getting a job promotion or getting into a relationship and you feel like you left behind you know sometimes I feel like I'm left behind you know when it comes to certain situations you know you know sometimes I'll wrestle with thoughts you know feeling like I'm being left behind but I must realize you know like the other night I read that Ecclesiastes chapter 3 when they say there's a time for everything and that's how life works you know things happen in seasons you know you may have to go a season of long suffering but every season, you will, um, something will happen. You know, the most I will make something transpire in your life. You know, you may find love in the next season. You may not find love for the next couple of seasons, you know. You may find that job promotion the next season, you know, so on, so on. Just keep praying, you know. You got to pray, you know. Stay in prayer, you know. Don't let the woes of this life and overthinking stop you from praying, you know. 
It's a little testimony of yours truly. I've been, you know, I overthink things too much. You know, I was telling that to my brother Monster. We had a conversation, you know, about that overthinking and stuff. You know, sometimes that we overthink so much, it could discourage us and it could give us anxiety to not pray, you know. You know, because, you know, I suffer from a little social anxiety, you know, but I'm trying to overcome that. We all we all battle through anxiety, you know, you know, and then being an introvert, you know, as like me, I'm an introvert, you know. But um, it's all good though. But yeah, you know, sometimes I get anxiety to pray, you know, but that's just an excuse. I use that as a crutch. You just gotta do it, like the Nike commercial. Just do it, man. Just go and pray, you know, till you get results. And when you get them results that you want it and desire and most important is aligned to the will of the Most High. Continue praying for it, you know. Continue your prayer, you know, as long as it's aligned in the Most High's will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like, don't focus on the woes of this world, on the cares of this world. You know, just focus on the mission. You know, like the scripture said in Matthew, uh, seek the kingdom of Yah, and everything else will be added. And that is true. You know, sometimes we get distracted with the distractions of life. You know, we so caught up on what others are doing or what others are um, achieving, you know, instead of focus on our own selves, you know. And sometimes it can weigh us down and we overthink things too much. We overthink, you know, and it's just like it wears us down spiritually and mentally and physically, you know. And sometimes worry, you know, we're not supposed to worry. Worrying could produce unnecessary stress in our life. You know, sometimes we worry too much. I'm guilty of it. I ain't gonna lie, I'm guilty of it. You know, worry, you know, when it comes to certain situations in my life, you know. You know, we gotta understand that the most high got us, man. We sincere and trying to obey his will and his word, he got us, fam. He got us. You know, so stay strong, my brothers and sisters. Stay strong, stay strong. And yeah, some of my words may um sound like they coming out wrong, you know, but English ain't our language, you know. English is not our language, you know. I'm not, I don't speak eloquent, you know. Some people may hear me talk. They may be like, oh, I don't articulate. I ain't worrying about that, man. It's all about the message, you know, because English ain't our language, you know. You know, because I know a lot of people up north, you know, they like to make fun of us southerners, think we slow in speech. Not all of us slow. We don't care what y'all think about us, man. You know, that's one thing about here in the South, man. You know, we got good hospitality. We friendly to people, man. You know, wearing up like it is in northern states, like in New York, everybody got a piss poor attitude. I'm just keeping it 100, you know, and not to take shots at my family in the CUC that live in northern states because I know everybody in the northern states ain't assholes, you know. You got assholes down here in the South, too. But you gotta understand, man, we part of one big family, man. We from the 12 tribes of Israel. We gotta stop the self-hatred, bro. You know, we gotta stop that self-hatred, man. I mean, our people just don't see value in each other, man. That's all you hear. I don't care if you're in any city. You could be in Houston, San Antonio, New Orleans, Baton Rouge, New Iberia, Lafayette, uh, Sacramento, California, Phoenix, Arizona, you know, uh, Las Vegas. North Carolina, you know what I mean? Wherever our people dwell at, it's like we we destroying each other over petty stuff. The self-hatred, man. It's 2021. We got to, you know, stop pointing the guns at each other, young brothers. You know, we got to be as men, talk it out as men. And then if that don't work, knuckle up, fight it out, brawl it out. Yeah, you may get a broken nose, you know. I know your ego gonna be crushed because you took an ass whipping, but you're still gonna be alive. You're just gonna, you're not gonna be in six feet under, being devoured by worms and maggots. You know, you might get a, you might, you know, knuckle up, man. That's how our daddies handled it. Our daddies and grandpas handled it, man. They knuckled it up. They ain't wasn't quick to pick out a gun. They probably picked up a weapon or a bat, but most of the time they used their fists and feet. You know, wrestle each other to the ground, man. And, you know, get down and dirty, man. But these days, it's, they quick to pick up a gun, man. Pow, 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 pow. You know? That ain't funny, though. That's sad. You got a lot of sisters, you know, with mothers out there crying, man, because they losing their child to gun violence. 
You got a lot of innocent babies getting hit with stray bullets, man. Stray bullets, man. Our people are goofy goofy, man. We talk all that macho shit to each other, but when it comes to these other nations, we, we, we stiffen up, man. We stiffen up. But when it comes to each other, oh, man, we the big bad wolf. We the big bad wolf, man. We the giants. We the giants. But when it comes to other nations that are weaker than us, really are weaker than us, they really scared of us. Oh, man, we tense up. We tense up. We tense up. Straight up. We tense up. We got to stop being goofy, man. And I know a lot of our people ain't going to get it because they hard-headed. They hard-headed. But, yeah, I'm just being real, though, man. I'm just being real. You know? You know, man, I just can't wait. Y'all willing later on. We're going to be doing a live stream. Me and K. Judah. You know, it's going to be an open panel. You know, it's going to be an open panel probably about the revisiting. I can't wait, too. I can't wait. I can't wait till we bust down this false doctrine. We already bust it down, but we're going to bust it down again. You know, we're going to bust it down. And I hope the perpetrator get a hold of it. But we know the perpetrator, you know. I ain't, I ain't going to say his name. We know the perpetrator. He might get a wince of the video. He ain't going to come confirm it, though, because he have a bigger platform than us. And you see, let me tell you something about these content creators with bigger platforms. They are prideful and egotistical. And they will not come to the lion's den, you know, because they don't want to get their doctrine bust down on, on real time and in front of all their followers. Because that's one thing about it. If you get embarrassed on the internet, it's going to be forever. It's going to go viral. <laughs> it's going to go viral, brothers and sisters. It's going to go viral. Yeah. Yeah, so I can't wait for that tomorrow. Y'all willing? Well, today, actually, because it's 1 in the morning. So today, late on today, y'all willing? Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Shout out to the CUC. But, yeah, man, I can't wait. Should be interesting. Later on today at 1.30 p.m. in the afternoon on K. Judah's platform, K. Judah's show. You know, we're going to be busting down the doctrine of polygyny. You know, a lot of brothers, man, I'm telling you, a lot of brothers, man, need to break off that spirit, man. Y'all scared. It's like y'all pushing the sisters away in this walk, man, you know. Y'all pushing sisters away. It's like you got a fraction of brothers, man, want to bad mouth the sisters and all that in this walk. And you got some sisters that's want to just teach they probably been you got scorned women that probably been hurt by no good men and they want to teach other sisters you know not to trust in the brothers you know not to trust brothers and keep them single man just like you got a lot of these brothers man you keeping brothers single for disparaging the sisters and you got these bitter women keeping sisters single it's like you're supposed to have a lot of you got come on now man our people waking up all these israelites how come you don't see a lot of Hebrew marriages, man? You know, because we live in a jacked up society, man, you know. It's like you got, it's like you got sisters scared to engage in courtship. You know, you got brothers, you know. They don't want to, uh, they want multiple wives. And they court a sister and they tell a sister that they pro polygyny or polygamy, but well, polygyny, however they see the shit, you know. It's two different things, polygamy and polygyny. Polygamy is just like having multiple partners, you know, and polygyny is a man having multiple wives, you know. But, man, you know, we know it's a recipe for disaster. Yeah, but, uh, brothers, you just need one wife, man. And, brothers, if you're in a good marriage, I'm just speaking in general, if any Israelite in this walk, if you got a decent woman, a good wife, you should not be worrying about no polygyny, man. You should be happy. You got you a decent woman. You got you a decent woman, man. You're ungrateful, man. You're being an ungrateful SOB. You're being an ungrateful SOB, man. Real talk. You know, the most high bless you with that rib. You know, he he, he set you on a path to meet her. And y'all met up each other. Y'all started courting. And y'all became one. You know, y'all brought forth seed together as a union. What you need another um, wife for, brother? Come on now, man. Get your head out the sand, man. You know? Get your head out the sand. You know? You know, she... She trying to fulfill that role as a Proverbs 31 woman, you know. She giving you some good loving in the wee hours of life. You know, you doing your thing and she doing her thing, you know. She cooking you a good meal, you know, or you cooking, you a, you cooking her a good meal, vice versa, you know. What more do you need? What more do you need? You know, you don't need an other wife, man. Y'all need to stop that bull crap, man. Real talk.
Y'all need to stop that, you know. But we already know most of these brothers, they want to do it for lustful reasons and they want in egotistical reasons. They want to use it as a status um, symbol. Oh, look at me. I, I got three wives. I got four wives. You just got one. You got you got buffoons in the red pill sector, you two, talking about if you just got one wife, counting as you have no wife. I'd be like, what kind of madness is that? So you mean to tell me it's better for a man to have multiple wives? So if a man have one wife, one virtuous woman, treat it as he have none? Man, I tell you, bro, we got we got a lot of stuff to work on, man. And it's a hot mess, man. It's a hot mess. You got bad. It's so, it's so frustrating. I'm telling you, it's so frustrating. Because, you know, and I know it's frustrating for the sisters. You got sisters, they don't even want to deal with men in the walk. They'd rather deal with worldly niggas, man. And that shit pisses me the fuck off. I ain't gonna lie. That shit pisses me the fuck off because most worldly niggas, they'll act like they're Israelite. Like, as long as they get the peach, they'll get the, they'll, 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 they'll screw the peach out the woman. And once they got what they want or give her a child, they're going back into the world and going to deal with the thoughts in the world, man. Real shit. You know? Real shit. You know? All because. These rabbit mouth brothers in the truth and these wicked camps want to disparage the sisters, you know. You you know, I seen all kind of men. You got, you know, and they got brothers twist scriptures, you know, just to be with other nations, you know. And they disparage the women, the daughters of Zion. And you got daughters of Zion just rather deal with a damn Gentile in the walk, man. And he could be a believing Gentile, too. I mean, he keeping the Torah, the Gentile keeping the Torah, and we know the Torah command us to marry our kind, you know, Israel marry Israel, you know, but it's just a hot mess, man. I mean, sometimes it's frustrating, you know, but, you know, just put it in Yah's hand, you know, you just gotta, I gotta put it in the most high's hand, you know, you know, because, you know, I desire a wife, you know, any, any single ark, man, that's in this walk, you know, that's, you know, it's it's better to marry than to burn. You know, we get urges, we get urges, man. You know, when you in the bed alone, man. You know, you tossing and turning, man. You feel that heat, you know. And sometimes you wish you had a um woman to um fulfill that heat. You know, same thing for sisters, man. Single sisters. I don't care how um holier than thou they act, you know, all pious. They still get them urges because we human. Them sisters get that urges. Urges. Yeah, they could um you know be celibate, you know be celibate and I respect a sister that's celibate you know that's a, that's a beautiful thing you know because she purifying herself again you know even though she probably had a fun in the world you know you know it's better to be celibate man because and I think that's one of the reasons why I know a lot of marriage rates going on because a lot of men don't want to deal with women that been around you know and we got to understand it take a whole monger to make a whore you know if these men are stopped Going through women, you know, like um, going through them, you know, you have a lot of um, pure women out there, you know. But like I say, we live in a so damnable society, man, you know, it's a damn shame, you know. That's why I say Western civilization got to be destroyed, man, got to be destroyed. Real shit, you know, real shit. You know, but it feel good out here. I ain't going to lie, fam, it feel good out here. Louisiana weather, <laughs> don't get it twisted, we get that humidity, though. See, tomorrow later on, it's probably going to be hot. Well, today, <laughs> I see tomorrow, well, later on today, that sun going to be beaming. You know, it's going to be beaming. Yeah. Real talk. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, we got to do better as a nation, though, bro. We got to do better as a nation. You know, like I said, I'm just rambling. This is a late night ramble. You know, I'm rambling on the back of my patio. Ain't bothering nobody. Real talk. And, brothers, man, y'all need to. Get out that mindset of polygyny and multiple wives. That's not what this walk is about, man. It's about honoring the word of the Most High. It's about Yahshua HaMashiach, man. And there ain't no salvational issue, man. You know, I never read no scriptures that, where it says you have to have multiple wives to get salvation. You know, it's not going to make you closer to the Most High. I'll tell you that. You could have ten wives. That's not going to make you closer to the Most High because you ain't going to be able to focus on his word. You're going to be too busy dealing with all the drama. But, man, let me get off the topic, man, because we're going to touch base on this later on today. So let me get off the topic. I want to save some of the energy for it. You know, but, um, yeah. Keep your heads up, brothers and sisters. Keep your heads up. You know, keep your head up, you know. You know, just take it one step at a time. Be patient, you know. 
the most high knows what you desire. You know, just gotta be patient, man, you know. Gotta be patient. Real talk. That includes myself. That includes Brother Ben, Moshe Ben, Yahudi Israel, you know. Or for those who want to hear it in English, Moshe Ben Judah Israel. <laughs> or Moshe Ben Yahuda Yasharel. <laughs> See? I flipped it on y'all. But yeah. I mean, it's a hot mess, but like I say, it look like the can grown, no? I give it a bot. I say, after the end of the summer, them sugar cans gonna be tall. Around September, they'll be tall. The sugar cans, yeah. But I just pray to the Most High, Yah, in the name of Yahshua, we don't get no um hurricanes this season, cause we about to be on hurricane season. We don't need none of that crap, man. Y'all forbid, because I know. We getting them heat waves, you know, like on the west coast, the western states, they getting them um heat waves and stuff. Yeah. And another thing, they about to cut them unemployment benefits. So to all those who was living off them unemployment benefits, y'all better get ready to go start filling out applications and getting back to work. You know, that serves y'all right, man. Shit. Y'all was living better than people that was um not working. Y'all sitting on y'all asses, man, getting fat like swine. Why? The working class busting their ass on these jobs. Whether you work 10 hours a day or 8 hours a day or 40 hours uh, or 60 hours a week, you know. A lot of people have been collecting ever since this has been going on. People have been on unemployment benefits what, for like a year or half a year. Man, they've been living good. Fridge probably stock full of food, man. Some of these people that was going on vacation off of that money, you know. But yeah, they about to pull them. I know a lot of people going to lose their shit. Nah, they going to lose their shit because they uh pulling them benefits man they gotta get back to work man gotta get back to work you got a lot of jobs offering positions around these in the city i don't care what city you're in they they taking the applications you know whether it's restaurants you know stores and all type of jobs you know oh yeah they want people to get back to work but we already know a lot of people are gonna try to find a way not to go back to work you know but it is what it is though it is what it is yeah But I had a wonderful day today, though. Yesterday, I had a wonderful day. Spent some time with the um, family, you know. You know, had a family out, and, you know. Had a wonderful day. All esteem Yahoo for that. All esteem Yahoo, you know. But yeah, just just be patient, family. You know. I know you probably want to be at that certain spot in life. You know, you just gotta be patient. You but yeah, I'm just rambling. I know this is a little ramble. Mm -hmm. It's a little ramble. And plus, I'm bored. <laughs> so that's why I went on that night ride. And I'm back here doing a late night vlog. You know, went on a little night ride. That's something I really don't do, though. I don't do that that much, you know. But I bet you if I'd have been in a big city, I probably would have done it. It'd have been better, too. In a big city, man, you know, I'd have had some smooth jazz music playing. I'd have just been cruising, man. But it's all good, though. It's all good. You know, and I was watching my surroundings, too. And I was watching my speed, too, family. Trust me. Because them damn popos out there lurking. When I was on certain roads, I was watching my speed. I was doing a speed limit, too. Real talk. Because you never know where they be posted up at, them popos. Oh, yeah. Because, like I always say, they trigger happy. They always looking for a Negro to take out. Man, I tell you. So, all praises to the most high, y'all, for having traveling mercies on me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, you know, hallelujah, yeah. But all right, fam, this is Brother Moshe Ben Yahweh of Israel. I'm going to go cut this video short and upload it to my channel. You know, I say shalom, man, peace to you.